In this video, we're going to look at calling built-in applications using Intense. So this is a new project that I've created, and I've set up the user interface with four buttons, one that's going to let us browse the web or open up a, a web browser, uh, make a call, show a map, so we'll put in some geolocation information, and then go in and pick information out of our contacts. So this was a new project that I just called Calling Applications and I opened up the main XML file and created the buttons and I have each button set up with an on click that we're going to build methods in our Java file. So the browse web is going to do an, a do web method that we're going to create Make calls is going to do a do calls method. Show map is going to do a do map method. And choose contacts is going to do a do contacts method when they're clicked. So I'm going to begin by going over to the Java file. And this is just the standard Java file that we get when we create a new app. So nothing else has been added or changed in it yet. So I'm going to add the code in here for the first one, which is our do web. And I've pasted in some code, and I'm just going to do uh, Command Shift O or Control Shift O in here to have it automatically add in any of the imports that it needs. And let's just review the code quickly. So we have our, our method do web that's going to be connected to the button for browse the web. We're creating a new intent and we're naming it I. And our intent is Android content intent action view. And let's quickly take a look at the documentation on action view from the developer site. We'll go to the information here on Action View, which will bring up more description on that in particular. So it's to display data to the user, and it's the most common action for data. And it's a generic action, and it's going to find the most reasonable thing according to the type of information that it's getting. So if it's on contacts, it's going to view the entry for contacts. If we give that an email address, or mail to, then it's going to bring up a window to send an email. If we give a URI, then it's going to invoke a web browser. Um, if we give it phone number, it's going to bring up the phone number or the, the phone dialer. So we'll work with, uh, we'll be doing action view in a couple of these examples so you can see how that works. So in this case, we're giving it, we're, we're going to work with some data, and the data that we're going to use is a URI which is a web address. So we're just going to go to the college's web page. And then we're going to tell it to start the activity. So this is already connected to our button in the user interface. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it in the emulator. Okay, so here we have our emulator. I'm going to click Browse Web. And there's our web page coming up. So let's go back and work some more. The next button in our interface is for making calls. So we'll add some code for that. So this is almost the same. Instead of invoking a web browser though, we're going to invoke something that will let us dial a phone number. So I'm going to copy this and we'll just make a couple of changes. This is going to be do calls. We can still use the same intent name. But our action in this time instead of view is going to be to dial. And our URI parse is going to be, we're going to preface it with TEL colon and then our phone number that we want to dial. And so that's the college's main number. So again, I'm going to save and run this in the emulator. And let's see what happens when we make a call. So if I really could make a call from my emulator, this is what I would get. I'd be able to hit this to be able to dial. And since I don't really want the call to go through, I'll hit end. Okay, our next intent 
is going to be for showing a map. So I'm going to put in some geolocation information for the college. So again, I'm going to, since this is very similar, I'm going to paste this in and we'll do map. And our action in this case is going to be view. I forgot to mention, if you don't want a telephone number, if you don't want it to dial any number in there, we can just leave that data out. So you could leave it that way and not have a number pre-programmed in. It's going to be some geolocation information. Okay, so I got some coordinates here, and the way I did that was you can search on the web, you can do a quick search and find where you can put in a re an address and get a reverse location for longitude and latitude. So I just went in and put in an address of Delaware County Community College and then I get the longitude and latitude in there. So that's where I got those coordinates to put in here. Okay, so now I'm going to save this and I'm going to test it in my emulator. Okay, so I'm going to do my show map and my app crashes. Now the problem with this is not with the code, but it's with the emulator. If you're going to be using the Maps application, you have to run the application on uh, an Android virtual device that supports the Google APIs. So what I'm going to do is I need to create a new Android virtual device. So I'm just going to click New, and I'm going to choose Target on here, and this is going to show me what I have installed and we have Google APIs. So what you're going to look for are these Google API devices for whichever SDK version you're working with. So since I'm working on 2.3.3, I'm going to go with API level 10. And I'm going to give it a name and I'm just going to call it Google API and then create AVD. And then I'm going to start this. And then I'm going to launch this in my emulator. Okay, now that it's running in my emulator, I'm going to click the show map. Okay, now we can move this down a little bit and you can see on the map, Delaware County Community College. All right, so now we'll go back and we have one other button to code. Okay, so I've pasted in some code for our contacts. And the method here is similar to the other ones that we did with the calls and the map. We create a new intent, and this time our intent is for action pick. And this time we are adding a mime type. This is the kind of content. And this is uh, specified in Android. But when we're going to the contacts, this is one way of going in and getting that content type. And this time we're going to get results back. We want information back from what contact we select. So we're going to use start activity for result and we're passing in our intent and a request code. Now remember our request code is what is going to check to make sure that it matched this request. So we have an integer assigning one to the request code. And then we have our on activity result. And this is what's going to feed us our results from requesting this intent. So in, like we have in the other example, we have our request code. We're doing a check to see if the request code matches and if we have a result back. And if we do have a result, then we are going to create a toast and display the results into our toast. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to run it in the emulator. And I'm going to choose contacts and I'm going to pick my name and here is our toast and you can see the information showing up there is actually just the where the content is located so that's a way that you can start using intents to call or open up other applications